Hello, everybody. My name is Michael, and this is Miss P. She teaches history, U.S. history to be exact. So, Miss P, who are you exactly? Uh, hi. Um, my students know me as Miss P mm -hmm. because my name is not very common. Uh, my name is Helena Pavlovic, and I am originally from Serbia. Mm -hmm. But my students struggle to pronounce my last name, so I go by Miss P. And um, this is my third year at Villinda High School, mm -hmm. uh, 11th year in the United States. And I moved three years ago from San Diego. The question, Michael, I appreciate greatly. It's a good one. <laughs> you were one of my best students, and I knew you would be asking mm -hmm. good questions. But um, it's not an easy one. Yeah. And we usually ask others to talk about us and give us that perspective. Yeah. But I like to think of myself as uh, being a historian. I think that best describes me uh, in terms of my education, of my life choices, of my intention to reach out to my students yep. and make a difference when it comes to their lives. So where exactly are you from, Ms. B? Um, when students ask that question, I usually refer to the map because mm -hmm. I would like everybody to see um, where I'm coming from. Um, I'm from Europe, more specifically southern part of Europe. When I was born, um, that region was very different mm -hmm. given how it looks like today as we had a civil war. Yeah. Um, so I was born in a big former Yugoslavia that usually uh, parents or grandparents know about. Um, and by the time I left uh, Serbia, my country changed the name six or seven times as a result of the wars and the conflict. Mm -hmm. um, when I answer that question, normally I add something that makes my students feel good about uh, where they are coming from and who they are. There are two things in life we cannot pick and we have no say. It is our family and our birthplace. Yeah. And even though it is a disadvantage to me because um, my country used to be run by the communists and I felt back in the day that I was in a prison, mm -hmm. not really fortunate to have freedom and a good life. Yeah. So myself, um, my family uh, was also very challenged, but I'm very proud of uh, the fact that we overcame those challenges yeah. and that I eventually managed to leave and gain education and pursue my, mm -hmm. my goals. So to be precise, I'm originally from Serbia, but I came to the United States from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. uh, Prague is the capital city of Czech Republic, where I attended the Charles University to gain my uh, PhD in history. So Ms. P, what exactly was it like coming here from Serbia to America, San Diego, and then California, and did you enjoy your time here, and still do you? Oh, it's still a wonderful journey, and to me it is that um, dreams eventually come true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my, my choice to come to the United States uh, what was not an easy one because um, there was a lot unknown to embark on a journey, leave Europe, your home, your culture, learn another language, um, immerse into the new environment. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I made a good choice to move to California 11 years ago as it is a diverse place yep. and it's a beautiful state. Um, as a historian, I have to add that uh, none of the state is perfect and mm -hmm. California has yeah. its own challenges, especially when it comes to immigration. Mm -hmm. But um, I, as an immigrant, did um, everything I possibly could to contribute to this culture and this country. And I came as a professional looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. to make a difference and, and uh, do something good for my students yeah. and change maybe their way of thinking 
get them exposed to a different culture, mm -hmm. challenge them intellectually, um, tell them about the world and my experiences, mm -hmm. inspire them to be and do their best. Yeah. So um, it is a wonderful journey. Mm -hmm. I made a good choice. Um, I like, as a historian, um, to learn about different cultures. I speak several languages, as I believe that is the best way to be part of that culture, mm -hmm. get immersed and understand the background and show appreciation for the people, your neighbors, your students, your colleagues, um, people you interact on daily basis. As a historian also, I, I feel um, very responsible uh, to educate as uh, education makes a huge difference when mm -hmm. it comes to the quality of life. Yeah. So I strip my students the opportunity to complain mm -hmm. about how disadvantaged they are and um, what they dislike mm -hmm. when it comes to real Linda, to be very specific. Um, I believe that every single one of us has uh, unique qualities. And as an educator, I'm trying to bring that up and to the stage and make my students competitive and um, confident yep. so they can make a difference in the future. But to get back to your question as a historian, mm -hmm. I always uh, <laughs> give so much and, and mm -hmm. I make those detours. I mean, you remember me. Yes, I remember you. <laughs> but um, I enjoy it. I enjoy uh, living in the United States and I'm very proud of the fact that six years ago I became a citizen of the United States mm -hmm. um, and that as an immigrant I was given the opportunity to um, do my job at this level as I teach history courses, AP courses, um, I have opportunity to travel um, and to meet different people, professionals working mm -hmm. in different fields that is very enriching experience and to be an educator in the United States um, is very challenging <laughs> but I do believe in my students and um, I feel that my job can make a difference mm -hmm. so I, I, I take uh, huge pride and it's an honor to be a teacher mm -hmm. here. Thank you and it does make a difference I'll tell you that. Thank you. And do you have any tips for juniors that are going to move on to the next stage in life, the final stage of school? Well, high school years are very important when it comes to um, your future, uh, regardless of the choices you're about to make once you graduate in sky high school. Junior year is a difficult one mm -hmm. uh, as students have uh, a choice to pick challenging courses, AP courses, which can give them uh, an advantage to uh, gain college credit and uh, make um, college years uh, more purposeful in times of gaining education and uh, graduating promptly. The best advice uh, if any, um, I can give to my junior students is not to be afraid to challenge themselves yes. and to embrace the challenges coming from from students, uh, from teachers and, mm -hmm. and their friends as well. Because there is so much that we all bring to school every day and we need to handle. And to actually appreciate the opportunity to gain education because that's how we grow and that's uh, what, what can make a huge difference when it comes to future choices mm -hmm. and, and, and future life. Education is, is a serious um, experience. And as much as we sometimes feel that um, we educate students, so it's us versus them or it's you versus yeah. us, I do believe that we all work as a team mm -hmm. and, and for me to create connections with students. Mm -hmm. So my advice is not artificial as I have been in your shoes and mm -hmm. I have faced those challenges. Yeah. 
it is the way uh, that I communicate ideas and and uh, when I Im impose the expectations it's not mission impossible it is something mm -hmm. that's reasonable and and students can take in and meet because it's beneficial down the road and makes them successful mm -hmm. in the future so so uh, just do your best and don't be afraid to challenge yourself yeah and um, use your time uh, wisely that is I think the most critical component when it comes to the choices you make on daily basis so so don't be afraid to uh, face unknown mm -hmm. be brave see yeah. what those experiences do for you you're mm -hmm. gonna learn about yourself and being reflective is probably the first and the most important step when it comes to uh, uh, that personal growth mm -hmm. yeah don't be afraid to experiment don't be afraid to fail exactly. you know with failure comes growth exactly and I share so many of my experiences mm -hmm. and the challenges and um, I, I stand by that e example. I, I never give up, mm -hmm. nor anybody should, regardless yeah. of the challenges. That's, yeah. that's the bottom line. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Thank All you. right. Thank you, Ms. P. Thank you for being so loving and kind and giving me this interview. Thank you very much, Michael. I appreciate that. It was an honor.